Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at geometric progression. We'll be looking at the nth term as well as the sum to infinity. So stay tuned. If you haven't seen my video on arithmetic progression, then the link is at the corner. But let's get into geometric progression. Geometric progression is also a sequence of numbers, but this time, the ratio of any number and its preceding number, which is the number before, is always going to be the same in a geometric progression. Let's look at this for example. Let's say we take 4 and 2. So 4, the ratio of 4 and the preceding number, the number before 4, which is 2. The ratio of 4 to 2 is 2, which is simply a division of 4 and 2. 4 divided by 2, we get 2. And then when we get any other number, let's say 32 and 16, 32 divided by 16 is also 2. So the ratio of a number and a preceding number will always be the same. And this is known as the common ratio, R. In arithmetic progression, we have common difference, D. The difference between any two consecutive terms is always the same. But here we have the ratio. So this is common ratio. Tn represents the nth term similar to arithmetic progression. So T1 will be the first term, which is 1. T3 is the third term, which is 4. T6 is the sixth term, which is 32. This is the formula to find Tn, to find the nth term for geometric progression. Tn represents the nth term, A is the first term, and R is the common ratio. Let's look at an example. Find the 8th term in the geometric progression. This is the geometric progression. So we are looking for the 8th term. First, let's look at what we can find from the question itself. We have n because we are looking for the 8th term. So it's t8 and r8 minus 1 to the power of 8 minus 1 because n minus 1. We also have the first term given to us, 3 over 2. So a is 3 over 2. Now that we've substituted all that we know, 8 minus 1 is 7 it's time to find r and in order to find r we can take any of the numbers in the sequence and divide by the preceding number to get the ratio common ratio so for example if we take the first two terms then r is 3 over 4 divided by 3 over 2 and when we have fraction divided by fraction or any number divided by a fraction that is equals to multiplication of the reciprocal of the fraction so since this is divided by 3 over 2 it becomes times 2 over 3 and of course when we simplify everything 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 1 and then 2 and 4 we can simplify to 1 and 2 so the ratio that we get is 1 over 2 our common ratio r is 1 over 2 and if we can see that we'll get the exact same common ratio no matter what number we use no matter what combination we use let's try 3 over 8 divided by 3 over 4 we also get 1 over 2 3 over 16 here divided by 3 over 8 we also get 1 over 2 because this is a geometric progression, the common ratio will always be the same. The ratio between a number and the preceding number will be the same. So once we find r is 1 over 2, we can substitute inside the equation. We put 1 over 2 inside here. So this will become 1 over 2 to the power of 7. 1 to the power of 7 is still 1. And when we work it out, we get 3 over 2, 5, 6. So 3 over 2, 5, 6 is the eighth term in this geometric progression. Sn refers to the sum of n terms. Remember when we are dealing with sum of n terms, just like in arithmetic progression, it has to be starting from the first term. We cannot start from the beginning. So sum of n terms means the sum of the first term to the nth term. Sn is the sum of n terms, A is the first term, and R is the common ratio. These values are the same from before. In geometric progression, you notice that earlier, sum of n terms can be represented by two different equations but actually they are not different equations they are one and the same equation and i'm going to show you now how that is so sn is equals to a bracket r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1 and this is the form that is used when r is greater than 1. now let's factorize negative 1 from the numerator and the denominator when we factorize negative 1 remember factorize means we are taking out negative 1 
essentially we are dividing the terms by the number that we are factorizing. So here we are factorizing negative 1 out of r to the power of n minus 1. So this will become r to the power of n divided by negative 1 which is negative r to the power of n and then negative 1 divided by negative 1 becomes positive 1. So it's just the signs are changing and we have negative 1 factorized out here. So we have negative a 1 minus rn and then we factorize negative 1 from the denominator as well. So when we factorize negative 1, r minus 1 will become 1 minus r. And then negative and negative, we can simplify, divide, and we get a 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. So this form and this form are actually exactly the same thing. The reason we have two different forms, one for r more than 1 and one for r less than 1 is because we don't want to deal with negatives in the calculation. It's just to simplify your calculation, that is all. But technically, you can use both equations for any values of r. It's important to note here that r cannot take the value of 1. If r is 1, if the common ratio is 1, then we do not get a geometric progression. We will get a number sequence where all the terms in the whole number sequence are the same. If the common ratio is 1, Remember, to get from the one term to the next term, we have to multiply by the common ratio. So if the common ratio is 1, then the number will just be itself for the whole sequence. So when the number is 1, it is not a geometric sequence. So r cannot be 1. Let's use an example to find the sum of n terms. Find the sum of the first 7 terms in the geometric progression, 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on. So we have our geometric progression here. We first, we have to substitute the values that is already given to us. So we have n, which is 7, and we have a, which is 1. We substitute n and 1 respectively, 7 and 1. Then we have to find r. And in order to find r, you can take any term and divide by the number before, the term before. So you can do 2 divided by 1, 4 divided by 2, 8 divided by 4. It doesn't matter. You will always get 2. Now, common ratio r is 2. Substitute the value of r inside. Now we have 1, 2 to the power of 7 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And when we work this out, we will get 1, 2, 7. This means that the sum of the first 7 terms in this geometric progression will come up to 127. <laughs>
First of all, in order to have sum to infinity, remember our values of r must be between negative 1 to 1. So first, let's find r. So r, again, you can take any value and divide by the preceding number, the term before. So I've chosen the second and the first term is the easiest. So 7 over 6 divided by 7 over 2 equals to 7 over 6 times 2 over 7. Multiply the reciprocal of the fraction. And when we simplify, we get 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 is our common ratio r. Now, this number is between negative 1 and 1. So yes, this progression can have a sum to infinity. But let's do it. Substitute the values inside. Our a is 7 over 2. And r we found to be 1 over 3. So a over 1 minus 1 over 3. 7 over 2 over 1 minus 1 over 3. And when we work it out, we get 21 over 4. Of course, our final answer, we don't leave in improper fraction. We can write as a mixed number or decimal. So here, the sum to infinity will be 5.25. Just like in arithmetic progression, Tn can be found by also using the sum of n terms minus the sum of n minus 1 terms. So if we have 4, if we want to find T4, the fourth term, then we can get the sum of the first four terms minus the sum of the first three terms. So let's look at an example. Here, this geometric progression is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. So the sum of the first four terms will be 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. And then the sum of three terms, n minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. Sum of the first three terms will be 1 plus 2 plus 4. Now notice, when we minus s3 from s4 what we are doing is this this minus this so what will be left is the fourth term 8 so t4 is 8 t4 is 8 this is the method a different method to find tn which is applicable to both geometric progression as well as arithmetic progression that's it for this video guys if you've learned something please don't forget to hit the like button it really does support my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe i'll be posting videos at least once a week I'll see you in the next video.